Perfect show for you, I would think. Great I hope so. part, Anissa. What a great part. Because you can be horrible. Yes. Playing completely against type. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> totally against type. Are you enjoying the whole process? Do you know, the rehearsal process has been absolutely joyful oh, it's just it been is. wonderful everybody is lovely the kids are just every day i go in and there's all these adorable children it's just wonderful because they always say don't work with kids they're wrong are they're they wrong? completely wrong and the big. dog is delightful the children are delightful <laughs> oh fantastic yeah. and how are you because this is the most exciting time isn't it? What a year it's been for you and, of course, for your husband, Brian yeah. It's been a remarkable year, hasn't it? I mean, he's going from strength to strength. Absolutely. He Absolutely. opened the year going to NASA. Yes. Oh. And then the Golden Globe. Yes. And now the Oscars. BAFTAs and then the Oscars. How are we going to work it that you can be at the Oscars? Could you have to be there? I know. I know. Um, well, <laughs> we've, we're in Wolverhampton on the Saturday night. Right, OK, Wolverhampton to Los Angeles. I don't think there's a direct flight. It's a bit like Stepney <laughs> to Hollywood, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like, how, do we, how is that going to work? There's a plane on Sunday morning, and right. which gets me in about one o'clock. OK. So I'm going to change either on the plane or in the car in the and toilet, go straight right. to the Oscars. It's and the, the glamorous life. Yeah. You think Brian could call up NASA and we get you, you know, one of these, or, or get you some sort of Star Trek thing. Where you, oh, I'd love it. <laughs> the transport where you could do it. Because you've got to be there. You've just yeah. got to be there. I loved the film. Three, two minutes in, I was... Yeah. completely swept away. Yeah. I cried buckets at the end. I, I was heaving, sobbing. Mm. It's, it was such an emotional journey. It is, especially if you've grown up with the band, you know, like, like, like my generation. And yeah. what I think is really good is it's a whole other generation that's going to discover the music yeah. as well. And that's fantastic. I know, it's it wonderful, really is. isn't it? It's really good. And what a performance he gave. Just amazing, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, I hope Got he gets... Him. I hope he gets his Oscar. It will be wonderful. It would be. And it would be a real sort of slap in the face for all the critics who've been a bit sniffy about this film, frankly. Yes. It, would be, it would just be to them, this is a movie that was made for fans and made for people that are interested in, in music generally. You yeah. know, that's, that's the thing. Now, we had them all on. We had them all on the show. <laughs> and we also had Gwillem, who, of course, played your Brian. And this is what he had to say. Have a wee look. Yes. And, and makeup. And she stared up at me and kind of said, oh, you're the same age that Brian was when we met. <gasps> there was a flirtation. Let's there be real. Was. There was a, there was, there was a little wouldn't flirtation. There be? Yeah. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd seen Anita Dobson smile just that one. <laughs> <laughs> but that must have been so strange that he's the age that, you know, that you, when you met your Brian. And then was. he was. And he did look like him, didn't and he? And he's got all his mannerisms. Yeah. It's fantastic. But when I arrived, I got out the car and Gwil was standing dressed as Brian, <laughs> next to Brian as he is now. And it was like, whoa, before and after. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's just, it's just remarkable. It really, really is. As well as that, we've seen you in so many things. I loved you as Queen Elizabeth. Oh, thank Queen you. Queen Elizabeth the first. Mm. And the thing about you was, see, the thing about you is you've got no vanity. So you'd, you just said, you know, that, that's the way she was. She had bad skin. So you've got all pockmarked <laughs> up. You know, she had bad teeth, so you've got the, the, the pretend teeth. teeth on, you've got all of that. And you really, but, but what an amazing woman to play. Oh, it was such a joy. Yeah. What a gem of a part. I loved yeah. every second of it. It took four hours to get from me wow. to her just before she went to bed looking like death. <laughs> um, it's worth every second. Yeah, I loved bit. it. Are you at the stage now where you can sort of do things because you want to? You don't have to anymore, but it's because you love doing it, Anita. You just love yeah. it. So if the part's right, like the part in Annie, if that's right, then yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I keep saying to all my girlfriends, you know, oh, I think I'll sort of retire very soon. You yeah. know, I could just follow Brian around and, and watch the band, you know. And then a part like Annie comes up and you sure. think, no, 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 I have to do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's really good. It means you'll be a part, but actually that works sometimes, doesn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. If you're a part for a little bit, it's really nice when you get back together again. Yeah, exactly. Which is lovely. And hey, we've been together how long? 32 years now. Is so it really? Something must be doing all right, yeah. Righty. He is a remarkable guy. I loved him when he was on because we were both sort of quite geeky and we like space and everything. Um, and it was just brilliant having a, having a chat with him. It was yeah. just really good because he does so so many other things as if being, you know, in a band like that wasn't enough. Yeah. You know, he's just always campaigning. I mean, he's brilliant spokesman person for animal rights and does all of these things too and you support him in everything he, he does. never stops his brain never stops it's yeah. like i feel sometimes that i'm just there to make the tea really <laughs> because it's fascinating he comes in and sometimes he looks at me and he goes i've lost you haven't i you've just glazed over <laughs> when he's talking about yeah he's it's talking about so... space or he's talking about the moon or something like that yeah. That's true. when does this tour all kick off then well next week next we week. go to manchester right. to start teching and um 
we do our first performance on the Saturday, right. the 2nd of February. Excellent. So I'm very nervous, very excited, but very, very blessed to oh. be where I am right now. Very grateful. You're a wonderful woman. It's a joy to talk to you, and you've got to get to the Oscars, Mrs. Thank you for saying yeah. that, I do. <laughs> it's got to happen. We've got to get a direct flight from Wolverhampton right there to, the, to Los Angeles.